This view is slightly different. This view is as if we've cut down sagittally through the abdomen to have a look at these layers. So in this diagram, we've got anterior here and we've got posterior. And here we've got a reminder of those layers above and below the umbilicus. So here we see above the umbilicus and here we see below the umbilicus. So here on the diagram, this arrow is pointing to the umbilicus. So the umbilicus will be about here. And then we can see above it and we can see below it. Above the umbilicus, we had external oblique. Okay, so we had external oblique. So we can draw in external oblique. And that's going to be indicated here in blue. This blue line here is external oblique. In orange, we can see the skin of the body. So external oblique is anterior to rectus abdominis. Here we can see rectus abdominis muscle. If we look below the umbilicus, external oblique is still there. So now we're below the umbilicus, external oblique is still present. It just always lies anteriorly. If we go deep to external oblique, pick it up in green here, we can see that we've got internal obliques, anterior layer. Because also in green, above the umbilicus, we can see internal obliques, posterior layer. So here we have internal oblique, internal oblique. It's anterior and posterior layers. Where remember, above the umbilicus, it's divided. What we can also see if we keep going posterior is transverse abdominis. In purple here, we can see transverse abdominis. And this is above the umbilicus. And then most posteriorly again, we can see transversalis fascia here in black, which is then the peritoneum. So importantly, above the umbilicus, we can see we've got external oblique, anterior layer of internal oblique, rectus abdominis. We've got the posterior layer of internal oblique, and then we've got the transversus abdominis, and then transversalis fascia. Just below the umbilicus, we can see that rectus abdominis muscle penetrates these layers. So we can see rectus abdominis is penetrating these layers so that it actually pierces them and lies posterior to these layers. So now that we're below the umbilicus, you can see we have external oblique, internal oblique, the anterior and posterior lamina have merged, and we can see we have transversalis fascia. If we were to look, if we were to stand in the abdomen and look at the anterior abdominal wall from the inside, we could see this transition. We could see this transition, and it's known as the arcuate line. Here we can see this arrow is indicating what's known as the arcuate line. And that's where you have this covering posteriorly of rectus abdominis, which then disappears. And hopefully you can appreciate that when we look at a posterior view of the anterolateral abdominal wall. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.